Jesus. Sing together with me on that Friday. The disciples had responded to the call and they have done all they could over the three years, just about three years, to give up hard as it was, all that they had known and all that they had heard, to walk with Jesus. Most of the time they had wrong expectations about what Jesus was going to be to them. They had expected of him to set them apart and let it show that they followed him, but it was to show in earthly terms at some stage, two of them hauled their mother to come over and use tear power to persuade Jesus to remember them. To put one to the right and the other to the left. When he comes to his earthly kingdom, Jesus politely but firmly rebuked them, but they still didn't get it. And at some stage, they sought to force him to accept coronation. And Jesus rebuked the disciples and recognized he firmly pushed them into a boat and instructed them to cross to the other side because they had just allowed the enemy to possess their soul and to seek their souls and to seek to frustrate the plan of redemption by crowning him on things as me, when he had brought stuff that were terrestrial, extraterrestrial, I beg your pardon. Um, but eventually they began to get it. But just when they fully got it, Jesus dies on them. He's dead and gone. And they have become the ridicule of those that had asked them the question, are you sure? And they have assured them, we know this is an investment. Watch the space. And that space that they had told their fellows to watch now looked vacant. There was, it seemed like there was nothing to show for it. Although he has both died and risen, mm. the disciples seemed to conclude that maybe they can count on him going beyond this. They shouldn't continue to stake their future on him. He's not the kind maybe for them to put their head on the block for. By the time we hit John 21, the Bible says there, and after these things, Jesus showed himself again to the disciples at the Sea of Tiberias. And this is how he showed himself. Be the big family. 
family that we are. We will talk about many things that makes our life beautiful and cause which are. But towards the ending of the day, when that bus would come, and this time, the five o'clock bus does not stop at our day. Back 
their lives back into their hand, they now will self-determine because the one they surrendered to, the one to whom uh, they gave their all, the one whom they chose to follow, has disappointed. To the extent that even when he is raised from the dead, they will not commit to him. The record they says, they said, we go with you. Like we said during the course of the week, my brothers and sisters, be careful of what you say in your experience of problems. Be careful what you say in your moment of pain and suffering. Be careful of what you express when you feel discouraged. For somehow the enemy may just speak through you, knowing that through you and through your speech, he's gonna get seven for the price of one. Uh, remember also what we said. We said that every single one of us has got a followership of at least 15 admirers. Some of them are secret admirers, while others are public admirers. They look up to you. They even look up to the street key. The street key has a, a followership of a minimum of 15 precious souls who take their cues from him or from her. Even the drum in the shabir. There are at least 15 people who look up to him and who are prepared to dream like he dreams and to curse like he curses. Or oh, even the wife, Peter, there is someone who thinks that he's cool and they are prepared to beat like he beats. But thank God that also there is you. And there is at least 15 people who are prepared to surrender like you have surrendered to Jesus. Be careful of the example that you are setting. Especially when you speak out. You may just cause the falling of a seven other people at a go. Heaven to head, my brothers and sisters, when you had people exclaim in discouragement if even pastors do stuff like this. <laughs> Who are we? And people decide to give up trying and to give up living up to the expectation of the mother, of the, the master, because one has fallen and capitulated to the pressures of the flesh. When he says, I go fishing too, when he says, I go fishing, they say, we go with you. Oh, but I like God. I mean, I know I love him, but tonight, I like him. I just like the way he does things. There are many things I don't understand about him, but this I think I have an idea. The record says, when it concludes, verse 3 it says, But that night they caught nothing. You know what preachers have said. They say, they tell us they've gone back to the same lake where they've caught always. But this night, because they abandoned the one who called them, they caught nothing. And this was a blessing. Sometimes the night of catching nothing could become a stepping stone.
to a night of a deeper experience. The night of casting out into the deep and coming out with nothing could just be a night when you can actually in the morning cast out and catch plenty. But plenty, that's different. Jesus tells that that night they must catch nothing. Sometimes emptiness is not a sign of poverty. Sometimes the emptiness of our land is not an indicator that the master has abandoned. I declare tonight that even when we have abandoned him and end up with an empty net, it does not mean that he had abandoned us during the moments when we had abandoned him. For Jesus said, the record says, but when the morning was come, Jesus stood at the shore. This is where, if I could see, I was going to start a song and say, if I try to get you then I'm a When they watched my night of emptiness, they were sure. Jesus, I don't know if he could 
could do that without smiling. He comes out from the saw of the morning and he says, hey guys, I think he must have whistled. <laughs> hey guys, you over there. <laughs> and the one who asks them knows what he did overnight. And they launched into the water. He walked into the water and called an assembly of the fish. Come over here, fish. Not with words of comfort. 
condemnation, but with words of providence. Amen. Not with words of punishment, but with words of provision. I know where the fish that you left me for is. So cast your net to your right. You find them there. <laughs> there is pointless to abandon the Creator for His creation. Mm. Ah. Amen. There is no point in despising the giver and preferring the gift. Yeah. When they cross at that spot, they were not able to draw the net into their home. Because that's where the fish had congregated. Their nerves were cracking. That's this is John referring to himself. And this young man, the most polite and civil, he cannot say, and Jay said he says and that disciple whom Jesus loved said unto Peter okay this will be food for another day he says unto Peter I know you're missing the import of that phrase. He does not speak to the rest. He says, Uncle. Peter was the oldest and John was the youngest. Amen. It is the Lord. The one you led us away from. It's him. Sure. 
and leaves them behind. No, the, the boat burdened with the fish was going to slow him down. He has an experience of being outrun by John, remember? That Sunday morning, uh, Peter was the last to arrive and the athletic and young John had run before him to the sea And Peter was not going to be outdone when it comes to going back to Jesus. say to us, my brothers and sisters, when it comes to the matters of going back to Jesus, it is not a quoted thing. Hmm. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. It does not need consultation with the mortal. You actually just stand up and do the thing. You can come back to them after you have experienced restoration. Do not try this at home without Jesus. Do not try to stand for Jesus before you have been to Jesus. Peter needed to reconnect with Jesus. And he needed to do first things first. And the first things that need to be done first need to be done by an individual. Mm. Do not wait for confirmation from mere mortals. Can I have a quick chat with the mortals? Mm. Mortals, be careful of this other mortal called Kita. He can drag you away from Jesus. He can cause you to go back fishing. He can invite you into rebellion. He can invite you back to the face of darkness. And when you decide to do the right thing, watch him. He 